So you think you know everything there is to know about hard drives. Well, at least I did, I thought I did. Turns out there's been a ton of expansion in the hard drive world, specifically in the types of applications that individual drives were made for. In front of me, I got some candy, hard drive candy. I got black, blue, red, and purple. They said, hey Lou, we want you to make a video explaining the different attributes of each of these drives and why they are perfect for specific applications. On the far side, I have the highest performance drive. This is a six terabyte black, WD black. And the intended application here is inside of your system, inside of your workstation PC, gaming PC, anywhere where you need high performance storage. They use the word creative professionals. I consider myself a creative professional. Essentially anyone who is beating the hell out of their drive, not physically, but in a productivity kind of way. Offloading a bunch of video, let's say, and then editing it. Fast and speedy behavior. Next up, we've got blue. This is one that I found kind of interesting. I remember WD Blue sort of being like the de facto standard internal hard drive for a very long time. There's actually one over here that is exactly that. There's a one terabyte right here which is a standard desktop hard drive. There's a new WD Blue as well with a built-in SSD. It's, a, it's kind of a hybrid, and that's gonna give you enhanced speed on regularly accessed stuff, but it kind of fits a similar use case scenario to the WD Black. This, again, is intended for users that are a little bit less intense, but it'll do the same tasks. So blue, just like the others, comes in a variety of different sizes, as well as form factors. This is a four terabyte with that built-in SSD functionality, but you can also get it up to six terabytes. I've got a one terabyte over there. Everyday computing, that's what this one is all about. Now things get more interesting as we move on to red. Red is designed for network attached storage. This is a WD. MyCloud EX4. It attaches to your network and allows for you to access data locally that's on the network, share it with other people. That's what we'll be using it for. Then through the cloud features, you can also access that data when you're not local, just via the web. You want a drive that's sort of configured for 24 seven operation. And when you get an enclosure like this, the idea is to put multiple drives into these bays so that you can have a RAID. Let's say for example, you just wanna have a simple RAID one. The way that works, you'll have two drives just like these here. So two reds that match in capacity. You'll have a constant backup of all of the data that you write to that RAID a hardware backup. So essentially that file lives in both places with each copy. So these install really easily into a system like this. Simply slide it in, click it down, and that's about it. Okay, so that's black, blue, red, and now it's time for purple. Or as I like to refer to it, the Donatello drive. It is intended for use in 24 seven surveillance systems that are constantly writing video files 24 hours a day. That is a fairly hefty request for a drive to be operating like that. And right on the front here, you'll see it says 24 seven reliability intended for everything up to HD video. Now, much like the reds, which also put an emphasis on reliability, you're gonna see an advantage in doubling up the purple. So I've got another purple over here as well. You still have that opportunity to create other styles of RAID like RAID 0 or pair up a ton of drives and do something like RAID 5, which is gonna enhance speed and redundancy together. The world of RAID. So let's do it one more time real quick. Black performance, gaming, creative professionals in your system. Blue, everyday tasks inside your system available SSD inside for a hybrid drive and enhanced performance. Red, inside your NAS. Multimedia, constant access to your files, locally, sharing, or via the web. And then purple, it's all about surveillance. If you wanna stream video, record video to a drive 24 seven, 
it's purple you're looking for. Anyway, that wraps it up. Hopefully you guys found this information useful. If you're looking for some more, I will drop the relevant links down in the description so you can check out pricing and availability on all of these various models. We actually don't have any network attached storage right now. We're using like Google Drive to drop files and whatnot. And obviously that's limited and not the fastest thing in the world. So this is gonna allow for us to, you know, send pictures back and forth, video files, music, etc. Anyway, I could go on and on as you could probably tell. Thank you very much for watching guys. Appreciate your viewership. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and I'll catch you on the next episode. Later.